So I'm here today in Cleveland, Ohio, visiting from Cramanan Island, New Brunswick, Canada. And Tremco has invited me out to see their building science lab, where they test a lot of new Dura products. Specifically, I'm here to look at above grade ICF installations using their pre block with their integrated flashing and sealant system. When I first arrived at the Building Science Laboratory, Marcy and Randy greeted me, gave me a brief tour around. Hi, pleased to meet you, Marcy. Hi, Aaron Randy White. Hi, Randy. Good to meet you. So we, I understand you're There's a lot with of products. really great Very technical fun. aspects they have going on here. So the first thing I saw was a test assembly from an aluminum curtain wall. They sent us actually a huge window wall, so it's like 20 feet high. So it's a curtain wall? Yeah. Okay. So full-size curtain wall. And there were some pretty impressive details in there including Proglaze ETA. It's a translucent gasket that you're able to put sealant behind. What I really like is because this is translucent, you can just quickly visually inspect, you know that everything is 100% sealed. And we've done testing for like hurricane force winds. The wall might fail, the window might fail, but that still stays intact, so pretty cool. After that, I saw the, the spray rack. We saw a pre-buck that was already assembled in a wall system, and they were able to test that in the spray rack for not only water, but air infiltration as well. So what pressure are you testing this at? So what we're doing right now is 6.24 PSF. Um, that's our standard where we go as baseline. So 6.24 PSF for two hours. Now our equipment will tell us if there's an air leak, but what's ironic is the water penetration test doesn't care if you have an air leak. It just wants you to visually see water on the backside. So we know if we're having air leak, there's gotta be water somewhere within that system. Absolutely. If, so if you're leaking air, to... chances are you're getting water as exactly. well. Exactly, so that's why we always want to- The only thing cooler than that was pushing the button to start the whole rack up. After the spray rack, we moved on to a mock-up of the flangeless pre -buck. So over here is where we did some training recently. Nice. So I haven't seen this in person. This is your buck without flanges. So this is our pre -buck. Um, bucking material that we use for door and windows or any punched opening that you would have. Typically, maybe you're doing that with a piece of treated or another type of foam buck in your particular area. And you notice what we did on this as far as the detail. We seal the edges of this in between the buck and the foam prior to concrete placement. So we want to make sure that we get all that sealed up. Kind of prevents that concrete from getting on the outside. It locks this in place. This gives you a little more security when you're placing concrete. After the pre-buck without the flange, we moved on to a flanged pre-buck. And this is where Marcy and Randy kind of walked me through Nujura's version of their integrated flashing system. Big thing you want to look for immediately is, is there any holes that you want to fill with low expansion spray foam? We need to make sure that the surface is clean and free of any UV degradation or any type of debris on the outside. But what we like to do is use a RAS. We found in all of our testing that using a RAS gives us a little more uniform surface. We went through the steps of Diamonic, where to put it, what it was used for, making sure that water doesn't infiltrate into the concrete. So we're gonna look, look around, see if there's any place we might wanna add a little sealant. And then the other part I like to do it is in this seam here, just in this inside corner, because this is the area when we're using the peel and stick where we might have some issues. Then we moved on to the exo air flashing and how to properly install and detail a window. We went ahead and measured it ahead of time. Um, this has the peel and stick on two sides. We chose Butyl because it's just more versatile in terms of performance. So we chose it for the weather, um, for the exposure of flexibility, the way it really bonds with a lot of different uh, materials. So the tape is now installed. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is use the Monoc 100 to make a smear seal around all of our tape. Okay, so now we've got our, our peel and stick installed, our sealant detail. So now we've got our window buck and our wall assembly air and water tight, and it's ready for your window install. Where this is a mock-up, we didn't bother with shims, we didn't bother with leveling the window. But before we place the window in, I did my typical inverted U. So we used Dimonic 100, nice quarter inch bead, up the side over the top and back down. Then we proceeded, grabbed the window, installed it. In this case, we screwed it. The purpose of this is in an above grade ICF situation, uh, not only using the pre-buck, but using the pre-buck in conjunction with the sealants and the flashing tapes, and not just for a window, but for any opening, 
We are making a air and water tight flashing system. It just make, basically ensures that this window is going to be air and water tight for the foreseeable future. So using Nadura above grade, it's a great product. It's airtight, it's strong, reduces the amount of concrete you need, sound attenuation, and just overall thermal performance. And the pre-buck is a great way to speed up any installation, whether it's doors, windows, or any penetration to the system. So a couple things I really like. One, the pre-buck is a very simple system and it's pre-made. They're all from the same system. I don't have to check for compatibility. It's integrated, that saves me time. I don't have to spend time in the evenings, in my off time, researching. It's done for me.